Good evening, I'm Matt Tompkins. And I'm Cameron Logston. And this is your Nebraska News. Omaha native Hannah Goebel was featured Monday on NBC's The Voice. Goebel impressed all four judges and was selected by Kelly Clarkson. So at least someone from Nebraska got picked for a tournament. <laughs> Speaking of that, the Husker basketball team made it to the NIT while Creighton made it to the NCAA tournament. This means the Huskers get to play mediocre teams while Creighton has to play a bunch of good teams. Not so smart now, are you, Creighton? <laughs> Damn. Hey, man, did you finish your uh, bracket? Oh, no, I wait. Because like, last year I got every single one right. Are you serious? Yeah. How'd you do that? Well, I just wait till the game's over and just fill it out. And I don't know what's so hard about that. Okay, that's not how those work. All right. <clears throat> This week, the city of Omaha says that they may pay two Omaha homeowners $232,000 after tearing down a home that, quote, smelled like a dead body. Wait, you guys get paid for that? Said Council Bluffs. <laughs> Vice President Mike Pence paid a visit to Council Bluffs last week. Much like the giant metal artwork over I-80, no one knows why he was there. I would like to know who designed that. Yeah, I... Pretty bad. I don't know. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is, yeah. This is Great crazy. Minds. Iowa State Senator Bill Dix resigned this week after a video of him kissing a lobbyist at a bar surfaced online. Although this is bad, it's still much better than what our governor was seen doing to the gun lobby last week. If you know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Speaking of guns, the dating app Bumble has announced that they are banning photos of guns from members' profiles. In related news, there are no longer any men from Nebraska on Bumble. Omaha police helicopters have received a $1.4 million upgrade in crime-fighting equipment. And we at Nebraska News have been told that this doesn't quite make it an Omaha version of the Batcopter, but it is a step above yelling at people from on top of the Woodman Tower. I love doing that. Yeah. Every week. Like, hey, Cameron! What? Come up! No. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Well, the 2018 list of the happiest cities in America came out, and while Omaha was ranked 62nd, Lincoln was ranked 23rd, but Fremont was number one. Oh, man, I take it all back, Fremont. Yes, Fremont is the happiest city in America. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That was Fremont, California. My bad. Gosh, you were so hard on that small town. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, just this week, the Council Bluff City Council voted to back a medical marijuana dispensary. The medical cannabis would be able to treat many symptoms, including chronic pain, brain injuries, and living in Council Bluffs. Man, what is it with you and picking on any city that isn't Omaha? I pick on Omaha all the time. I'm like, Yo, we, we guys like a big zoo? <laughs> big zoo over there? <laughs> get it? Yeah, get it. Okay. <laughs> uh, right now, here's Cameron Logsdon with a new installment of... No, 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 you listen. The Nebraska ACLU is requesting that the DEA investigate whether or not the State Department of Corrections violated federal laws about drugs that can be used to enact the death penalty. Now, I know that what you just heard was something, something, something death penalty, but hang with me. Okay, here it is again. The ACLU, people who fight for human rights, are saying that the state corrections want to kill people so badly that they lied to the federal government to sneak drugs into the state so that they can commit some of that famous Cornhusker capital punishment. The long and the short of it is that Pete Permanent Swim Cap Ricketts and the State Department of Corrections want inmates dead so badly that they're lying to the government to sneak in illegal murder drugs. The federal government has a ban on drugs, like fentanyl and potassium chloride for capital punishment. But those drugs can be used by nurses in much smaller doses to help patients deal with the pain. The ACLU claims, however, that Ricketts and company would rather use those drugs to make it so those receiving the death penalty just stop squirming so dang much. <laughs> and to top it all off, the same week we found out that Nebraska is purchasing illegal drugs, the President of the United States called for drug dealers to get the death penalty, which would be the ultimate irony here, illegally buying the drugs from the guy they want to kill them with. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't know, there's a lot of words, Cameron, but 
You killed it. That's <laughs> no. That's yes. not. That's we don't. That's the opposite right. of what. For everyone here at Nebraska News, I'm Matt Tompkins, and I'm Cameron Logston. You stay nice, Nebraska. Let's go find some casting before I.